Welcome to the channel. It's another plant video from Adelaide. My name is Dina. Thanks again for watching. Here's a plant that might interest you. It's called Piper Crocatum. I'm not really sure if that's how it's pronounced, but let's go over a couple of things that makes it interesting and possibly a good addition to your plant collection. The Piper Crocatum is also called the Red Betel or the Celebes Pepper. This is another climbing or training plant that I've recently added to my plant collection, so it hasn't gone through the survival test yet. The mature leaves have dark crane and silvery lines, and the younger leaves have a light um, silvery pink lines. The piper apparently will not tolerate low light. I have this plant about a meter away from a west facing window and it seems to be getting enough light for now but if I want to keep these leaves looking lush and vibrant then I also need to give them enough light in the winter. I admit it will be tricky to give all my plants enough light in the winter but I have a plan to move them around next to the windows so that each plant gets a decent amount of light. I water this plant roughly once a week and I also feel for the soil before doing so just to make sure that I don't overwater it. I also mist it once a week to make sure that there's enough humidity and I also kept it on a pebble tray. The piper is still in its original pot, but if I do need to repot or refresh the soil, I will be using a loose, well-draining mixture. I bought a bag of cocoa peat for my propagation a while back and I have added the leftover to my basic mixture of one part perlite to four parts potting mix to see if this is a better combination for my plants. So I have used this mixture in my latest repot sessions. The plant can be propagated in water. At first, I thought I will cut the tip off and pop it in water for posterity's sake, but I have learned that the piper is difficult to root. Now the stem here is quite stiff and it almost feels like a wire. So I've decided to leave the tip and I have done a simple layering propagation with the softer end of the stem. What's also interesting about this plant is that it has these white fine crystals at the back of its foliage and some on the stem and they feel like fine sugar that melts between your fingers. When I first saw this on the leaves and on the stems, I thought the plant was covered with pests but when I looked closer, it just didn't look like pests and I found out it's a natural process called gutation. It's nothing to be concerned about, they are not pests. That's all for today. Thanks again for watching. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell. You know the drill and I'll see you in future videos.